welcome to Japan. It's finals day at the Total Energy's BWF World Championships. It's a day when some intriguing questions will be answered. Will the Sun and Setia One win a fourth men's doubles title, or will Char and So become the first Malaysians to win a World Championship gold? Will the defending champions Chen and Jar take their tally to three golds, or will Kim and Kong win only a second gold for Korea in the women's doubles discipline? Rita San is trying to make history by winning gold while still world junior champion, but Axelson is hoping to add a second world title to his Olympic gold. Japan's Watanabe and Higashino already have bronze and silver medals. Today they go for gold, while Sheng and Huang are going for a record equaling third mixed doubles title as a pair. Women's singles is perhaps the most intriguing of all the finals. It's the Olympic champion Chen Ufei against the defending champion and home favorite, Akane Yamaguchi. Today is the day when dreams for some will become reality. And all the action is happening here at the Tokyo Metropolitan Gymnasium. A very warm welcome to finals day at the 27th staging of the Total Energies BWF World Championships. Well, all five finals for you this afternoon. And as you can see, we are starting with men's doubles. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, the three-time former champions, have never lost a match at World Championships as a pair. They're up against the number six seeds, Aaron Char and Sowi Ik, trying to make history and become the first Malaysians ever to win a World Championship gold. Women's doubles will follow that, and it's the Olympic silver against the bronze medalists. It's the defending champions Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan up against Kim So Young and Kong He Young, the bronze medalists at the last World Championships. Men's singles will follow that, and Victor Axelson, the 2017 World Champion and reigning Olympic champion, is up against Kunlawut Duidesan, a reigning and three time World Junior Champion. Women's sun singles, and you don't get much better than this because we have the defending champion Akane Yamaguchi, the world number one, up against the Olympic champion Chen Ufei of China. Then we finish with big doubles, and like the women's doubles, it's the Olympic silver against the bronze medalists. Shen Shiwei and Wang Yashong, the number one seeds, are two time former champions, and they're up against Yuta Watanabe and Aurisa Higushino, who already have a bronze and a silver medal. Can they make it a full set by winning gold today? Well, with our first final being a men's doubles, a chance for us to look at the draw from the quarter-final stage. The six different nationalities, two pairs from Indonesia, two from India. I can tell you by semi-final stage, the two Indonesian pairs had progressed, and therefore for a sixth time, there'll be two Indonesian medalists. But here come the three-time former champions, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan. As a pair, they have never been beaten in a World Championship match. For both of them, it is a fifth World Championship final, a fourth together. Their record at World Championships is second to none. This final, well, it's a repeat of the Olympic bronze medal match. And the Olympic bronze medalists, Aaron Char and So Week, are trying to make history today because Malaysian badminton players over the years have won 21 World Championship medals, but never a gold. Eight silvers in total across the disciplines, but a chance for the Olympic bronze medalists to create history. Well, either way, whichever pair wins, 
history is made. This will be an 11th meeting between these two pairs, and of the previous 12, you can see that Hassan and Setia won, have won seven of them. But more importantly, Achar and Seoul have won the last two. The last been at the quarter-final stage of the Malaysian Open, the Super 750 event. Three games, as you can see, it's 52 minutes. And prior to that last Red. encounter, Red. it was the Olympic bronze medal match. The toss of the coin. Red. And the Indonesians have won the toss and have chosen Aaron. ends. Aaron's the far Aaron. end of the court, chosen by the three-time former champions. Mohamed Hassan already has five medals, three golds with his partner of today, one silver and one bronze. He's won his five medals with three different partners. No other men's doubles player has achieved that feat. For Hendra Setia one, it's a guaranteed sixth medal today, and it's his fifth final. He is trying to win a fifth gold medal. This man, Setia one, who turned 38 three days ago. The only other player that's won five gold medals in one discipline was Lin Dan in the men's singles. There have been other players who have won five golds, Xiao Ting Lei and Park Ju Bong, but that was across more than one discipline. Mohamed Hassan will turn 35 next month from Palembang in South Sumatra. As I was saying, Hendra Setiawan has just celebrated his 38th birthday. He is contesting his 75th career final today. His partner is contesting his 50th career final. Uh, their record is simply outstanding. They had a bye in the very first round and then they uh, beat uh, Corvée and Lubar, Labar from France in just under 30 minutes. And then Lampus and Seidel, the European champions. And then Arjun and Kapila. That was under 30 minutes as well, and the semi-final against Alfian and Ardianto in three tough games. Well, as far as Aaron Chiara is concerned, he's 25 years of age from the ancient city of Malacca, and they are enjoying their 16th week in total at a career high of number six. It's their third different spell, so we eke who is the youngest ever Olympic medalist in the men's doubles discipline, is 24 years of age, born in the Malaysian capital of Kuala Lumpur. Well, looking at their results, they had a bye, and then they beat uh, Lu Qingyao and Yang Po Han of Chinese Taipei. Two straight games uh, against their teammates, the number 11 seeds, uh, Go Ready and Izudin. And then the quarterfinal against the number 10 seeds, Choi and So from Korea, semi-final against the Commonwealth Games gold medalists. Aranki Reddy and Shetty, an hour and 17 minutes and 21-16 in the deciding game. So our first final at the 27th World Badminton Championships about to get underway as we look at our umpire for this one, Trish Gubb from New Zealand. Service judge Sakamoto from Japan. Well, I'm Jill Clark, delighted to say that sitting alongside me is former Danish head coach Steen Pipperson. What a lineup we've got for today's finals. I was just thinking about it. I, I think probably it's the best and most intriguing, exciting lineup that I've ever uh, seen before in the World Championships. Descends under the stadium. On my right, Mohammed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, Indonesia. <laughs> and on my left, Aaron Chia and So Wu Yik, 
Malaysia. Aaron Chia to serve to Mohammed Hassan. Love all. Play. The 2022 World Men's Doubles Final gets underway. Three-time former champions. Hassan and Seti are on the far side of the court, known around the world to badminton fans simply as the daddies. Against Aaron Char and Sawi Yik of Malaysia. decisive factor here of course the Indonesians are vastly experienced and uh, we know from the far past that sometimes so we tends to get a little bit nervous and th th that's one of the factors um, that is going to uh, decide this final here how does the Malaysians feel they've been uh, criticized after losing the final of the Asia championships they've been criticized after losing the semi-final at the Commonwealth Games and so on so is there some sort of defiance or some sort of uh, doesn't really matter let's just go in and play yeah how, how will they react to it or, or will it um, get to them so that's one thing the other thing is the uh, right shoulder of Aaron Sharp which uh, seems to be uh, holding together only by uh, black uh, kinesio tape I beg your pardon blue the colorblind color commentator here <laughs> That's the second factor. And then the third factor Four, is uh, Asan and Sechewan. They've looked much, much better in this tournament than all through 2022, perhaps also 2021, even 19. Um, remember back when they won the All England Championships in the final against Chan. So that was uh, with Henry Sechewan on one and a half leg, in my opinion. So. Uh, can they convert? Are they hitting form uh, at the exact right time? Well, here's a, a little intriguing fact for you. Uh, when Hassan and Sevilla won, won the last World Championships that they played, 2019 in Basel, in the semi-final stage, they beat their teammates, Alfie and Mardi Anto, in three games the same pair they beat in the semi-final yesterday in three games yeah. three four that's a great interception for Marin Sharp great service from Aaron Sharp four all using the tumble service and Hendra Sechuan didn't get that return right. Service over. Five, four. Well, given the fact that whichever pair wins will create history, it puts extra pressure on all four players on court. Oh, that's beautiful play by Hendra Sechuan. Not on Sechuan, he doesn't Four. do pressure. He's immune to pressure. It appears. <laughs> it appears. <laughs> Always looks so calm. He does, doesn't he? But that last rally, I mean, he just set the whole thing up. He, no! well, he knew where that was coming yeah. too. Made an error. But his reading of the game Five, is simply six. astonishing. One of the best front court players I think the world of badminton has ever seen. Settle the nerves. Six. All. Got the neck cord. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, 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 it, it, that shot had gone way past Six. him. It was like a windmill yeah. shot, and he plays a winner. How on earth is that possible? What's up? Well, City of One at the moment Eight. is on fire. Six. history of the World Championships who's won four gold medals in men's doubles and that was Chai Yun and Fu Hai Fung. So the Indonesians trying to equal that as a pair. But they've won medals. Oh, this championship. They've won medals for other partners. Both of them. Certainly won gold back in 2007 in Kuala Lumpur with the late Marcus Kido. Well, I thought it was wide. But we'll wait for the instant review to tell us for sure. Oh, no, it was on the line. Good challenge. Correction in. Service over. Seven, ten. Play. Service return from service return. And it's a four point advantage for Hassan and Setia one here at the mid game interval in the opening game. Well, that was a surprising length of talk given the experience of the Indonesians and the fact that they have a four point advantage. Are you surprised by that, or is that mainly just trying to calm players down? Uh, no, I don't know. They've lost the two previous matches and so on, so I don't know what they discussed, so it's no. difficult to say. Get out of the uh, pressure situation there. So we hit when um, Hassan was uh, challenging at the net. Brilliant interception once again from Sadio One. Well, it's interesting that neither of these pairs well, have won a title nine. so far this year. Indonesians have been in four finals, whereas Char and So are just the final of the Badminton Asia Championships. Yeah. So for one of these pairs, the first title of the year is going to be the world title. And, and for Char and So, you can cut out the year. It'll be their first title Ten. at World Tour level, right? Yep. Uh, their only title was at the Southeast Asian Games yeah. in 2019. That's clearly in. Oh, it's called out. Yeah, I'm not so sure. You're not so sure? No. Well, I was wrong on the first one. Probably wrong again. Oh, 
challenge for my son and Sevilla one. Yeah, it's a good crowd in again today. Since 10,000 this arena. Yeah, it's also a sign of the uh, lineup, as we mentioned early on, that it's a good lineup because the home interest is only in the last two matches. Yeah. So the challenge line judge was correct. One challenge remaining. 11-12. Play. Four of the five points since the game. Oh, oh, I can't believe it! What on earth was that from Aaron Chark? A bit of trickery. How on earth did he play that? 13-11. Take a look at this. Wow. And, and he looked behind, thinking that the shuttle, he wouldn't have made contact. <laughs> 14, 11. <laughs> the serve and the third shot. This 15, is the absolute maestro. They started really well. Hassan and Setsha won. This is, I mean, when you won three world championship titles, Setsha won has won an Olympic gold. They won numerous titles together. They also won the Thomas Cup. That was one he missed, but got that last year. 16, so a normal 11. Super 300 tournament, ah, that's perhaps not really what can get your, your blood flowing, but... In the World Championship final, you get it again. Yeah. Well, it was a great return of serve. Serve is over. Yeah. The passion and the dark desire. 12, 16. Fueled by a possibility of a fifth gold medal for Sepia 1, fourth as a pair. Well, if that doesn't get you excited as a badminton player, I don't think anything will. That's gone long. Yeah. Slight damp drift alongside the court. He was actually quite severe yesterday. I talked to Victor Axelson after his match and asked him, wasn't it a little bit extra, the drift? Yeah, it was much more than the previous days. And that means Chan So have trouble defending with um, accuracy here. Service fault is called. Too high. Too high. Service over. 13, 18. Yeah, that's good. Aaron Sharp doing to the Indonesians, but the Indonesians have been doing to the Malaysians. Moving a little bit to the left there, sensing that them um, or in a video read that they're going for the body. So when he moves to the left, he can play a forehand shot. That's good defense. as well. Oh, that's wild from Sevilla one. Now that's what I've heard from more than two persons 15, that I've talked to this 18. week. I don't think they've seen the matches in Hassan and Setsuan. Ah, they're not as strong anymore. setsuan has got trouble moving on the back court and so on. Well, he had, but in this tournament, he hasn't. Yeah. Injury free. Nor may that continue. That's well played. Yeah. And now the deficit 16, just two points. 18. Four straight points by the Malaysians. Going 
Yeah, you know? I think so. Brilliant. Wonderful, wonderful play from Mohamed Hassan. 16. Well, that's reminiscent of the, his style of play when they won their first gold medal in Guangzhou in 2013. I remember being so impressed in the final when they were playing against Bowen Morgensen from Denmark about Hassan's speed and his angle and potency of his attacking play. I saw it yesterday is a week launching numerous good services in the crucial stages. That's a great one as well. Yeah, excellent. I think the Indonesians got to be careful now. Yeah. 18, 19. Just one point the deficit. Six of the last seven points. So far, he might be the longest rally of uh, Sichuan and Asan's career. Oh, he's missed it. It's gone under the net. The racket had been broken. I'm not quite sure when he broke the rally. Come forward. Uh, the frame of the racket completely broken. Did he do it on that last shot? I think he did. Oh, my goodness, man. Players on court. What an opening game. Seven of the last eight points. Yeah, and three of the rallies with a really, really solid defense that they'd established. I didn't win the middle one of them where the Indonesians played with variation, but I still think all. that's really, really play. important that they can play these long rallies, uh, so and uh, Chap. 19 all. Who's going to have the game point opportunity? the Malaysians. There's too much celebration. They haven't won the first game yet. Too much celebration in my opinion. I understand that they're thrilled and it's a great comeback. But they need one more. Eight of the last nine points now from 12-18 adrift. It is game point opportunity for Aaron Chia and so we eat. And they've 
taken it. The opening game, what a remarkable comeback by Aaron Chiar and so weak. It looked all the way that it was going to be the daddy's opening game when they were 18-12 in the lead. But winning nine of the last ten points and Aaron Char and so he took the opening game 21-19 yes the final rally of the opening game towards the right hip actually got him on the hip Yeah, well, what an opening game to our first final for the 22nd World Badminton Championships. Oh, my goodness me. 21-19 to Aaron Char and oh, Saul oh. having been 12-18 down. There's not a whole lot of pairs that have made that compact against the Sun and Sichuan. No. That's really amazing. to defend in that rally. And it seems strange. Yeah, because there's naturally such a, an attacking pair. an angle from Mohammed Hassan. Two, one. And we saw in the first game that one of the uh, starters of the combat with that long rally where Sechi one broke his racket. Was that the third one? Maybe it was. But there, there was a long, long rally where they uh, defended so well, so in char. They're going to have a tougher time doing that here because uh, Asana and Sechuan, they're hitting with the drift, giving a their attack a little bit more bite. Oh! 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 Fifth Malaysian pair to contest the men's doubles final. Be different to the previous four. Oh. Oh, it's landed on the line. Three, four. Oh. Uh, mistimed that. Uh, our son four. has. Um, Look to be in trouble here in the beginning of this um, second game. 
Physically or, or psychologically? He, he's not um, made these explosions uh, that we saw in the first game. I don't know whether those long rallies might have taken its toll on him. It's a possibility he has had a problem with his uh, calf muscle throughout the, um, the season. Service error, followed by an error on the return of serve. That's two cheap points by the Malaysians. He's going to hit it. No. Cow only. Five. All. I think he actually, Aaron Char, can hit some smashes, but I'm not sure he can hit a lot of full power smashes in succession. So he's mixing it up whenever he's at the back court. Oh, that was short. Oh, that was short, yes. Uh, it's a tumble serve again, wasn't it? Yeah. Six, five. Cross court from Seven, Hendra Sadia one. Way too short oh. and easily oh. intercepted by Alan Chia. Oh. Crossball clear from Hendra City one so. Didn't have the right height and intercepted. Double pair to reach a world championship final was 35 years ago. Razif and Jelani Sadek. The last of the previous four was 12 years ago in Paris. Yuki and Kiat and Tambun Hyong. Solutions, fast paced shot, and then a block. And 
solutions for Hassan Setsuan. He's stretching. Mohamed Hassan outside yeah. the picture. He's yeah, got a back. bad back. It's his back. Yeah. So, the opportunity for a first Malaysian world champion has just increased, in my opinion. towards his right hip that's the second time they forced an error with that placement oh no well here you go injury problems as well that no I, I think the same happened yesterday it seems like they're just loosening the uh, strapping or something yeah, it was a so the two-point advantage with the Malaysians here at the mid-game interval, but we've already won the opening game. 20 seconds. So Aaron Chia and Solveig just 10 points away from creating history. And becoming the first Malaysian badminton players ever to win a World Championship gold. Sands back, then they are going to go even more sharp on the shots now. The two Indonesians, because they cannot play the long rallies. Which is why Hassan was going for the He was winner. going for the line. targeting on the attacking play once again the defense of Hendra City are one letting him down Thank you. 
was the Indonesians, if you remember, Steen, who chose ends. It was. And now they're playing the more difficult end in defensive terms. That's worrying for Hassan and uh, Sechuan that they can't kill it on this near side of the court here. Yeah, not getting any advantage with no. the attacking play from the back of the court, are no. they? No. Ah, good shot. Defence of Setia once again broken down. started to go wrong for the Indonesians in the opening game when Mohamed Hassan was faulted on his foot serve. Yeah. Was that at 18-12? Um, oh! Can't remember it's exactly. Over. 16-12. Could serve. Yeah, he's been serving magnificently. So we, Yik, we know Aaron does with his tumble serve, but so we Yik serves really, really been accurate. Well, he put that away with Venom. Yeah, and this is the time where nerves would kick in. Possibly my um, the Malaysians. Oh. Three points away from the gold medal. 18, Aaron Shah and Soe Yeek. Close now. 19, yeah, but I think they have enough of a cushion. Yeah. Do so you think they're starting to celebrate in uh, Kuala Lumpur? Yeah, I think they're very close to it. I don't think the Indonesians, since that fault was called on, Hassan have played one flick serve. No. Match point opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> and the coaches are saying, take it easy, take it easy, calm down. Six opportunities to rewrite the record books. Ever 
Championship gold medal to any players from Malaysia. Aaron Char and So Yik make history. <laughs> well, the Indonesians, gracious in defeat as always, congratulate their opponents. Embrace. Well, they are an absolute credit to the sports. Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Sepia won. But today, the Malaysians, having been 12-18 down in the opening game, uh, they seized the match, seized the opportunity. And their reward is a first ever gold medal to players from Malaysia. And their coaches congratulate them. And still revelate the Indonesian smile. So he is overcome by emotion. It's their first title at world level, world tour level, any tournaments on the world stage for Aaron Char and So Weak. Well, you couldn't better pick a better tournament to win your first title at, could you? The World Championships. <laughs> well, I seem to remember that the first ever title for other world champions in Glasgow in the men's doubles, Liu Cheng and Zhang Nan. I think that was their first ever title as a pair on the world stage. Look at the delight, almost disbelief. Mertstein, they deserved it today. They deserved it, the comeback. They kept believing in the first game. And that made all the difference. And so we almost can't believe it. He was criticized, but uh, what a tournament he's played. Confirmation of the scoreline 21 8, 19, 21 14 in 40 minutes. And we get ready for the prize presentation. And, Steen, I think we have to make mention of the fact that for a sixth time, Indonesian pairs have got two medals in the same World Championships. They have been extraordinary over the years. In fact, Indonesia have been the most successful nation in the men's doubles discipline. 24 medals prior to the start of this tournament, now 26. 10 golds is better than any other country in the men's doubles discipline. It is, but I still think that there is uh, room for a little concern in terms of the Indonesian men's doubles. Well, certainly concern regarding the current world number ones, Gideon Sukumolio, who lost in the third round to Ben Lane and Sean Vendy. I also, as we get ready for the prize presentation, need to mention the other bronze medalists, Ranky Reddy and Shetty, uh, because it's the first ever medal for a men's doubles pair from India. So all four medalists step forward for the start of the prize presentation. Subweek Sairaj Ranki ready and Shiraj. Chetty. 
play to making history at these World Championships in the spins doubles discipline. First ever medal for India in men's doubles. It's a second bronze medal for Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Oriana Adianto, who first won bronze in Basel in 2019. Well, it's a sixth medal for both of them, Mohamed Hassan and Hendra Setiawan, a fourth as a pair. But first ever world champions from Malaysia, Aaron Chia and Soe Ike. So the bronze medalist, first of all, and to Satwik Sairaj, Ranki Reddy and Shiraj Shetty. They, under the COVID protocols, present each other with their medals. So to the Indonesians of Rajar Alfian and Mohamed Orian Ardianto. First time they've ever been beaten as a pair in World Championships. Their World Championship record, 19 and 1. But the World Champions and the gold medals are around the necks of Aaron Chia and So Wee Yik. History has been made. Not only the medals, but the total energies, trophies as well.
優勝したアーロン・チア選手、ゾー・ウィーク選手をたたえ、国旗の掲揚をいたします。場内の皆様、ご起立、ご脱帽の上、西側、国旗にご注目ください。So as they pose for the photographers, and it will be pictures that are on the front pages of all news outlets in Malaysia, probably as we speak. What an achievement for Aaron Chia and So Week. Do you think they'll uh, go from strength to strength now, Steen? Do you think this might be a catalyst? Um, no, I don't think they will go from strength to strength, but I think they will win more tournaments, but they will also feel even more pressure now because they're the world champions. Um, and the expectations have not uh, become smaller. There's Olympics in two years' times in Paris. And uh, of course, they're going to target that. But but uh, on the other hand, they will have gotten a, a big um, boost of confidence, monkey off the shoulder, so to speak. Yeah. And certainly so, they're, they're two absolutely magnificent players. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. So the two Indonesian pairs pose for their photographers. But the world champions, Aaron Char and Soeek, I don't think they'll ever want to leave that podium, will they? I don't think it's sunk in with them yet, that they, how, how the magnitude of the achievement well, we still have five more, or four more finals to come here at the 27th World Badminton Championships. So they're going to be taken on a lap of honor.
So coming up next is the women's doubles final. It's Chen Ching Cheng and Jia Yi Fan, the defending champions, up against Kim So Yong and Kong Hee Yong from Korea.